All right, behold, if we get to unveil what was never thought possible in a Drawn to Life game. It could be better still, but a very smooth gradient. Fantastic. I love it. It actually looks a little bit more banded than I think it should look. And I know... In fact, it looks like they kind of blurred it a little bit, which would have helped it band even less. It's actually big enough that it still looks pretty banded, though, now that I look at it. I can make it smoother, but I'm not going to. But it's, it's something. Anyhow... So we're not the put you over all these pits and whatnot, but don't bother letting any of the pits actually pose any threat to you. If this wasn't the final set of levels, I think, I would get kind of understand that, but it is a final set of levels. You'd think they would just be okay with stuff killing you. I'm going so many to go this way. Oh no! But that was a mistake. Wow, also something from for Zasha that was anywhere other than on the main path. That's unusual. There we go. I think that's the last pallet. Which supports my idea that we're at the end here. Man, you make some odd noises. That was an underwhelming bounce, but okay, sure. I will say that this level and the previous have uh, been a little bit less frustrating to navigate than the two levels before, I think. Hi, big guy. Whoa! Oh man! You make wind and everything, that's really cool. Oh. I hate how it makes the sound- okay, could you go anywhere other than here? Skip everything here. Oh, no, there are no slopes here for me to use. I actually have to fight these things, and by that I mean just stand on top of their head for a few seconds. I can't fit in there, evidently. Alright. that way. What? Collisions, dude. This guy turns sideways and all his collisions are messed up. Ah, I can't get down that way, it seems like. I just have to go in from the right. Well, no, I already could. Ugh. I could draw with any degree of accuracy on this thing. Made harder by the fact that everything's moving. Ah. I'm not trying to make it jump up at the end there, but you know, that's that's just what my sensor bar likes to do. Or be remote, whichever one you want to blame in that equation. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to get this or not. Is it maybe there's just you can go... <clears throat> maybe you'll just to come from the right. The bottom right. I'm not certain. Dude, come on now. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's happening with my throat now. This is the last episode after record today, anyways. So sorry if my voice is weird for the about eh, for the next ten minutes or so, but I'll stop recording that after that, anyways. And that last little bit's gonna mess me up, isn't it? Ah!
That seems very possible. There, jeez. Alright. Now then. Honestly, I've had my voice be worse on recordings before. I record stuff while being very sick before. And I re only realized afterwards how awful I sounded. Okay. I mean, I don't really need anything over there, I guess. Whatever. This just rotates a little bit at a time. It's kind of odd. This one works differently than this. Okay. Don't really see much utility to this thing. Alright, whatever. You're all... You can put an object there, but oh, I guess it was to roll onto that guy. Although, and now you can go down there yourself. I had an odd idea for a second, but I was thinking maybe I could drop something on top of myself to drop down there, but I don't think that's the case. And there's a, a ring there pointing upwards. But yeah, I can't. I was forgetting that you can actually just drop in those from the opposite direction. I thought there was actually a wind there that would push me up, and or that ring would push me up. But no behave in strange ways that the developers apparently actually intended. Oh, I see. Okay. Did not catch that we actually wanted to... Another wrong time to draw that. Okay. There we go. Don't know what that accomplished, but... Also, why did I get pushed downwards by that ring? Anyways. I have full health. I don't even need the cannons for this. The wings let you go up slopes. Although you don't even need the wings to go up slopes now I think about it. What? Why did I stop sliding? Okay, so I go up to the left or to the right. The game really wants you to go up to the right, it looks like, so... Actually, I can't go up on that side, really. Because the wind will push me. Alright, whatever. Alright, sure. Not sure what I want to do with... Oh, I guess I just make a wall here. Uh, should this be pushing me somewhere? Well, never mind. That turns me from going left, even. That's very strange. I guess I don't need that coin, so whatever. Yeah, we're getting back to the weird level design again. That things just don't really work that well. Whatever. Did I just see popping on that rainbow there? Where do you take me? Not nowhere very fun. Okay. I still need to know. Upwards updrafts do not actually help you go up. They will grab you and push you up. But you cannot, for instance, you guys have a huge range when you attack like that. 
you cannot use your wings to actually go along with it. You have to... It will actually actually prevent you from going up more. Which feels very wrong. Oh, I see a huge amount of ink for those trampoline drawings for some reason. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything on the right because I feel like it could be. Oh, you know what? Since that platform rotates, the shadow doesn't really work. Oh well. I made an effort. Not a good one, but it was one. Just because you worked really hard on something doesn't mean that it's good. No. Come on. I do like how these wings turned out. Part of it is just that I think the game animates these wings pretty nicely, actually. To be perfectly honest. I have nothing to do over here. stuff on this side. By that I mean precisely one little thing. Well, plus three other little er, er things. Not much have any value to me, because I don't want anything from the shop aside from the one pallet that I can already buy ten times over. It is weird to how they just completely failed to actually put anything enticing in the shops in this game. Or shop singular. Like, no upgrades to the character or anything. Some pallets, which is good. But naturally rare. But pallets are greatly devalued in this game by being able to mix colors. Which is, granted, seemingly not a deliberate feature in the game, but it's still there and consequently has an impact on what is and isn't desirable in the game. It's really easy to miss checkpoint there. I mean, you can just get sent all the way over here. Why can't I hit you? Oh. I mean, you started doing that a long time after I started trying to hit you, but okay. Give me some height, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, anything fun to the right? No? It's weird how these guys will just... It's weird how these guys have kind of a defensive ability. It just feels a bit more complex than you'd expect from basically any enemy in this game otherwise. I actually do need to use that here. Alright. Up we go. It's kind of silly how it just freezes you in your animation. I feel like it should have its own animation when you're in the bubble. I guess that's a little bit of a nitpick. <laughs> I can't cover that part. I get some real momentum going off to the right here. Eh. No, you don't. Okay. Well, down we go. Left 
backwards. I feel like I'm about ready to finish this level at this point. No. Oh, okay, cool. It's so weird how that game's not willing to kill me here. I also can't move left or right when I'm underneath wind for some reason. Also, I, I can't move down faster. Like, I'm not gliding there. It just that's how fast it lets me fall. <laughs> the wind grabs you and carries you. It doesn't push you. Here, I don't feel like there's anything to be gained from making this level any longer at this point. Oh, hello. Guess there's a stamp to be gained. go. I will see these bubbles are like offensively slow. Okay, shoo. There we go. I think I never had a chance. More stuff. Actually, the last area here had to be a lava level. It's just a very stealthy lava level. It start out as all green grass plains stuff and then turn into very much not that for some weird reason. With no actual warning. So this is where those two wanted to have their honeymoon? It seems very strange to me. Oh. Heh. <laughs> I blocked the meat again. Hey, these are some frustratingly small platforms, some of these you have to stand on. These uh, ones that spread out to the side. I do suspect this thing crushing me will actually kill me. I don't believe I've been killed by being crushed before. So at least there's something here that's willing to be lethal. Another oh, tutorial thing? Okay, I guess we'll draw this next time. The shooter. Well, we'll see, I guess. Shoot, boy. Alright, bye everyone, and next time maybe we find DJ and whoever? We'll see.